Well, good morning, guys, and welcome back to Wyoming Racing. Well, today I'm going to be working on a few things. Frank and Buggy, I still have not gotten this motor to run yet. And after putting new spark plugs in it and new distributor cap, new wires, I picked up a coil yesterday, which I hooked up and with some brake cleaner going down the carburetor we actually got it to pop a few times so it's like okay this thing's close to running but then the coil started getting super hot it it actually burned up it got so hot that it changed the color of it and i'm like what in the heck is going on with this thing so i ended up returning that coil i have no idea why I did a little research on the internet. It's like, what would make a coil burn up? And they say, well, faulty wires or a plug. Something like that, which will, you know, throw the juice back into the coil and, and burn it up. But it was a brand new coil. Had it in the car for five minutes. And the damn thing is, I mean, I touched it. It burned my finger. I mean, oh my God. The thing was just, uh, it just burned up. It was crazy. So, <clears throat> today... I returned that coil yesterday. I got a different coil, which hopefully won't, uh, you know, be a nuclear disaster. And new points, condenser. I'm going to put all that in there and try to start Frank and Buggy again. Hopefully it kicks over and starts uh, via the, the brake cleaner. If I get it to run, then I'll put a little bit of work into the fuel system and uh get some gas going with the carburetor and maybe this thing will run i know i need a new carburetor because as i mentioned in a video before the uh accelerator pump that port is totally clogged uh going down into the throat there so uh, you know that that, that carburetor is no good it's going to get replaced but before i go buy in a carburetor uh, i want to make sure this thing actually runs so that's one thing I'm going to be doing today. The next thing is I want to get the floor installed on the golf cart. I got to go down and I got to get some uh, sheet metal and some tubing and uh, fabricate the floor. I've been tossing around the idea of what I'm going to be doing with the uh, with the master cylinder. The other day I did uh, I had to switch out these wheels. So the calipers, the brake calipers would actually fit in there, but they're in there and uh, now I got uh, the lines coming up. So what am I going to connect the line to? I can uh, use, well, I got a few of these quad master cylinders and these are for the back brakes, which is just a single caliper. So I'm not even sure that they would work. I'm going to put that brake light up there too that's gonna be pretty cool but anyways uh i don't know if these are throwing enough uh fluid to work two calipers so what i'm gonna research look into is uh going to get just a, a buggy there's a local buggy place here i can get a single master cylinder it might be for a clutch but i'll use it for the front brakes and uh, so the floor's got to get installed then i can install some pedals uh master cylinder so as you see here on frank and buggy i got a trick little setup here one for the back one for the front um i will have to do something similar like this the sending unit to be able to work that brake there so anyways that's going to keep me busy today that's what i'm going to be working on hopefully this motor will start. If you guys didn't see the video yesterday, this is awesome. My son put the lowering kit on Black Betty. And uh, she's sitting lower now. He says he wants to go a little bit lower, which, okay, we can do that. But uh, that Black Betty turned out awesome with the work yesterday. So I'm going to get to work. I'm going to try to get... Uh, Frank and Buggy to start up. I hope that motor will run. Like I said, it was popping yesterday. So, you know, that's fuel and fire getting together in these cylinders. <sighs> it's a good sign, but I want to see the darn thing run. So anyways, I'll be back in a little bit. 
Well, hey guys, I uh, just got done playing around with Franken buggy here, the new motor, and I got new points, condenser, coil, new spark plugs, uh, hooked up a timing light, and I'm definitely getting spark, but it's still it's not popping and one thing it's doing it's it's having trouble turning i thought well because it looked like the pulley that was on this generator was grinding a bit so i pulled that off i thought maybe that was causing some friction it's still not turning like it should and what i ended up doing was i actually poured some gasoline down into the carburetor then I pulled the plugs out. I, I went ahead and I tried to start it like that, give it a, a good shot of fuel. And then I pulled the plugs. And you would expect the plugs to just be saturated with gasoline, to smell like gasoline. And they don't. They're not saturated and they don't smell like gasoline. So, with the difficulty of it turning, and the fact that it's not really getting any fuel down into the cylinders, uh, I'm beginning to believe that somehow this uh, intake manifold is clogged up. I don't know if a little mouse went in there and made a nest, but uh, you know, a motor is just an air pump and the intake of this end of this uh, air pump uh, is not working. No gas is really getting down in there. It popped a couple times yesterday with some brake cleaner. But the truth is, it's having trouble turning, which means it's sucking and it's not drawing. So, yeah, I'm going to have to dig deeper into this motor in order to get it running. And uh, that's, that's nothing I'm going to do today because I want to go down and I want to get materials for the floor for the golf cart. I want to see the brakes working and I want to see a floor in here. So I'm diverting my attention from that 40 horse that was just given to us. Now I'm starting to understand why. <laughs> yeah, it was a gift, right. Um, but anyways, I'm gonna go get some materials and uh, put together a floor for the golf cart uh, for the rest of the day. So anyways, no more working on that 40 horse today and uh i'll be back with some steel and uh, we'll be doing some fabricating later today we'll see you later well, hey guys i'm back from the steel store and uh i got myself a sheet four by eight sheet of 16 gauge hot rolled steel which will make a nice floor it's thick enough it's not going to dent or warp and I'm going to use the uh, just a square tubing right there for the structure. So I got the seat out of here. I'm going to take the gas tank out. I don't need any uh, any fires. Uh, but then I'm going to build the uh, the tubing structure, lay the sheet on top, and uh, weld that on there, and we'll have a floor. This won't take long at all. And this ship shifting apparatus that i built the other day here uh that's going to end up because the cables only allow it to go so far so that'll be about in this area here centered but uh off of this bar here and uh then the seat comes out you can see the seat mounts comes out this far so i'll have to extend linkages from that to another lever that will be the forward and reverse forward neutral and reverse so that'll all be built into uh, the floor, what I'm doing there. Then once the floor is installed, I'll get a uh, just a single master cylinder pedal assembly to operate the, the brakes. So that'll work there. Like I said in the past, the back brakes are actually cable operated. So that's, uh, that's going to be interesting, but I'm going to have to use... Uh, cable and pulley wheels and go through a center tunnel up to the front there and uh, somehow mount it and it's going to have to be adjustable uh, to the pedal assembly here so not only will this pedal 
push fluid through a master cylinder, but uh, it will also be pulling on a cable to operate the back. So that's going to be uh, real interesting how that works, but uh, you know, we'll get it together. So I'm going to get busy on this floor. I'll bring you back in a little bit. I got to, I'm just going to use the torch on that. Just cut through that real quick with a torch and, uh, and then build the structure. I'll bring you back when some exciting stuff's happening. All right, we'll see you. Well guys, check it out here. Got the structure all built in there. This was pretty cool. Oh, let me get in. Stand in the middle here. Suspension's working in all four corners. This is pretty awesome. So, I'm gonna cut that plate to fit. I gotta go around like the seat mounts here and gas tank mount there. Maybe the corners, I'll have to do a little rounding, some trimming in there. And then that piece of the plate will fit and this thing will have a floor. Little hint to any of you guys that are welders, I was like running a bead here and it's like, my CO2 was going away. And I'm like, well, what the hell? It's not windy out here at all. Right here is the cooling vent. And that blows quite a breeze out of there. So, uh, yeah. If you're wondering where your CO2 is going sometimes, it could be this. It was actually the second time that ever happened to me. It's like, what the heck is going on here? But all these welds look real pretty, except for that one. But anyways, guys, I'm going to cut this plate. It's all cut to size, but I got to I got to notch it where it needs to be notched and uh I'll get that put in there today and that'll be enough. Tomorrow uh, I got to do something about uh getting that master cylinder. Uh if I order it, that takes a couple days then I can worry about the shifting mechanism. Get that done. Like I said, that has to be mounted down there. Linkage to go underneath the seat. And I also got to do something about a gas pedal. You know, that's not much throw there. So, you know, you figure your gas pedal moves maybe four inches and uh, all the way to there, that might be one inch. So somehow I got to like do a, a one to four ratio uh cable there but anyways we'll figure that out when the time comes uh for now i'm gonna put that floor down we'll see you in a bit Well guys, that's uh, that's it for me today. Got it all cut, it's not welded in yet. But, uh, you know. The old golf car project has a floor. <laughs> I got enough plate left over from the big sheet that I got that I'll get the seat mounted tomorrow. I'm gonna to come up with a little firewall here. Uh, and then I got some pieces of aluminum that I'll be able to do some panels up front. So besides that and uh, getting the brakes working, shifting linkage, well, there's quite a bit of work still to do, but uh, I'm gonna be plugging along on this and uh, I hope to be driving this thing here pretty quick. Maybe Christmas I'll be able to take it down the street. We'll see. Anyways, guys, thanks a lot for watching. And uh, if you haven't subscribed, go ahead and do that. We got to get those uh, subscriptions up there. And uh, like and comment. Let me know what you think about the old golf cart. And if you have any ideas what the heck is wrong with the 40 horse and Franken buggy, I tell you. That darn thing. I... T I, I totally believe that the uh, intake manifold's clogged up somehow because i literally dumped gas down it and uh it wasn't reaching the spark plugs i pulled the spark plugs out and they were dry so 
I have a feeling I got about a quart of gasoline sitting in that intake manifold. And so, but that's for another day. Cause I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and pull that motor out and I might have to pull the heads. I don't know. We'll see. But uh another project, another day. Next couple of days it's gonna be all about the golf cart. And uh let's get this thing running. Anyways, thanks a lot guys. Have a great evening and uh we'll see you later.